On a library wish list, Denver students have designed what they would call their perfect library. Now their teacher hopes the community will come together to make those dreams come true. Kelly Worthman has our story from Skinner Middle School. When you think of a library, books are probably the first thing that comes to mind. Not board games, Legos, or a sewing machine, but that's what students at this middle school are asking for to create the library of their dreams. The game board section is going to be over here. Ask a kid what they like. My game when I was a kid was Candyland. Oh I don't my know gosh, why, yes. But that was such a good game. And they'll probably tell you about a game or toys. I'm 13, almost 14. And I still play with Legos. So when Skinner Middle School surveyed students for how to improve the library. Overwhelmingly, Legos was top. Miss Lou Allen is the school's librarian and believes learning goes beyond what's found in books. I'd love for this library to be packed all the time. It's not meant to be a quiet place. Based on what students told her, this library will soon have four creation stations, including a corner to make videos and a spot for sewing. Because I don't have that kind of stuff at home. so. So it's good to come to school and you'll be like, oh, well, I can sew here. I have some ripped jeans. If it's not what they want, they're not going to come. And so we need to make sure that we are offering what the students need. To make that happen, the school is asking for the community's help. They need gently used board games and Legos, as well as sewing machines and thread. Patterns would be wonderful, so that way then the students can practice with that. Many people have already pitched in to fund the video creation station. Even a teacher from California donated. And it means means the world to these students to see their dreams become reality. Feels good to know that people care. If you have items you'd like to donate to help this library dream come true, Miss Lou Allen asks you send an email her way. And we have those details at cbsdenver.com. In Denver, Kelly Worthman covering Colorado First.